Hello, my name is Ryan Freeland and I am an associate on the Information Systems Group team at Village Reach. Today I will be demonstrating how to fulfill an order, a local fulfillment, with RTM integration via OpenLMIS. I will log in to OpenLMIS as the District Immunization Vaccine Officer. I'm getting ready to ship vaccines to my supervised facilities, so I want to see the current orders. I will navigate to Orders on the menu toolbar and click on Fulfill Orders. We call this process Order Fulfillment. If I had more orders, I could filter and sort the table to find which order I'm ready to fulfill. Orders can be generated within OpenLMIS through requisitions or from third-party applications like OpenSRP. I can also see which emergency orders have been placed through the far left column. I will select Start Fulfillment for the Lurio facility. I can see the functionality status of the CCE at ordering or requesting facilities, in this case from Lurio. The circles indicate the functional status of the equipment, and the bells are indicating if there is an active alert or not. The alert is coming from Coldtrace, an RTM platform. OpenLMIS built out a standard space integration so that you can consume alerts from any RTM platform. The metadata from both facilities and inventory is shared using HL7 FHIR. I will now look at the CCE equipment from Lirial by navigating to CCE Management on the menu toolbar and clicking on CCE Inventory. Note that implementers can upload a catalog like the PQS and add inventory items by facilities. In this situation, I will change the filters to the EPI program for Lurio, which I supervise as the District Immunization Vaccine Officer. Right now, we see there is an active alert on Fridge 11166. As I hover my cursor over the bell, I can see the message from the alert. Alert parameters and thresholds are defined within the RTM platform Coldtrace. I can take a look at the alert in history by clicking the edit icon. I can select view history, which opens as a PDF and a new tab in my browser of the last 30 days. However, I may want more information. To figure out what is going on, I can log into the RTM platform Coldtrace dashboard to view the detailed history at the following link. Currently, I am logged in. The weekly view on Coldtrace is intended for managers or technicians that are checking in on a district one or more times a week. It is important to note that the equipment fridge details here match OpenLMIS using its standards-based interoperability metadata, which is easily synced without any manual data entry. Based on the data from the Coldtrace dashboard, the District Immunization Vaccine Officer can make a phone call to a technician or facility manager to ensure action is taken. We can look at any specific CCE by clicking on any of the bars below. The 0ZLF30AC that is showing some red and green indicates that the device is spending a lot of time greater than 8 degrees Celsius. Clicking on the past 7 days bar for the 0ZLF30AC fridge brings up the temperature plot and shows that the fridge is reaching a little above 8 degrees Celsius for multiple days in a row. While not an emergency, this needs to be repaired to help maintain the potency of vaccines. The district immunization vaccine officer can make a phone call for the fridge to be evaluated and repaired. I can return to OpenLMIS to dismiss the alert and update the functionality status for that fridge to awaiting repair. Dismiss and update to awaiting repair. And then we can also select a reason why it's not working or in use and we can just say that it needs spare parts. Now that I've updated the functional status for CCE equipment, I can continue creating a shipment to fulfill the order by navigating back to orders, fulfill orders, and continuing with our fulfillment. Note that you can see the order line item and the different trade items that I have on hand to fulfill. I will fill the quantity of stock requests in packs or doses if you prefer when you are filling out the order fulfillment form. Notice the fill quantity column cannot exceed the available SOH column. The remaining SOH column will also update based on whatever quantity is inputted. I will fill in a few items to demonstrate.
I can also print out a pack list which will show all the lots and products which I've entered values for by clicking on Generate Pick Pack List in the bottom left-hand corner. This opens a PDF and a new tab in my browser. I can go back to my order fulfillment form, click on Confirm Shipment in the lower right-hand corner to confirm the fulfillment order. I can click on Confirm Shipment. which I can then view the stock on hand for Lurio by navigating to view stock on hand in the menu toolbar and changing the filters accordingly. Thank you so much and that is how you fulfill an order via OpenLMIS.